Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Sue and my YouTube channel is Ears to You. So today I would like to show you my Mickey Ears collection. It is quite an extensive collection. Um, so I will get right in and show you some of my Mickey Ears. So I shall start with my Loungefy Ears. So this one is the ice cream pair, which is like a plasticky, plasticky fabric like the lounge side bags and these are the ice cream ones so they have a very nice turquoise color ear with the chocolate and sprinkles on top of it and on the headband is like a, a cone representing a, an ice cream cone and I like these I think they're very cute that's what they look like on um, they're quite heavy I think for a pair of Mickey ears, but I do like them very much. Then my second pair of ears that I've got that I'll show you is also lounge fly ears. Um, they're Christmas themed, so it is these ones, and they have Mickey and Minnie snowman on them. I haven't worn these yet, they've still got the tags on. And they're on a red band that says Disney lounge fly. And again, they're made of that same plasticky material. Um, Mickey Mouse has got like a fur trim and bobble and Minnie Mouse has got this red bow, which I really like these, but obviously I have not worn them yet. And that's what they look like on. So yeah, I like those. Then sticking with the Christmas theme, I have another pair of ears, which I bought online. So I'm not really sure if these are real proper Disney ears or if they're like fake Disney ears because the quality of them does not seem brilliant but I shall show you these. They are Mickey and Minnie gingerbread men. So the Minnie has got a little bow on the ear and the Mickey has got a little Christmas hat on. They have this sweet wrapper bow and the reason why I'm not sure of the quality how good it is because the sweet came off so I had to glue it back on when we got them um, but I quite like them. Again, I have not had a chance to wear them because I've never been in the parks at Christmas time, unfortunately. But I have a collection of ears for Christmas time if I ever go. So hopefully, fingers crossed, one day I will. Then the next pair of ears, which is Christmas themed, is these green holiday season colour green with red bow. And the detail on these, there's a little holly and on the back, they're just plain sequined. A lot of my ears are sequined ears, which I really like. They're my favourite types of ears. And that's what these ones look like on. So I like those ones very much. Oh, and on the holly, there's a little Mickey made out of berries as well, which I think that's very sweet. Then sticking with the holidays, but moving on to Halloween this time. Um, this is one of the oldest pairs of ears that I have, and I believe they were purchased in Disneyland Paris. And they are these pumpkin ears made with crushed velvet with a little pumpkin man or jack-o'-lantern, whatever you call him, and they have faces on them. I think they're very sweet. And that's what they look like on. And I like these ones a lot. Sticking with the Halloween theme or villains theme, we went to um, the villains lair at the top of the world lounge in the contemporary resort. And we were given two pairs of ears there. The first one is Hades hair, which I've never seen these. I've never seen them in the shops even. And I don't know if you can see that, but they light up as well. So they will be very cool in the parks when you go and to watch the fireworks or whatever and they would glow. So that's pretty awesome. They were, all the men were wearing these ones. And then the ladies were given um, Maleficent horns. So again, these were given to us at the Villains Lair in the Contemporary Hotel. And I love these. So this is what the villains, the uh, Maleficent horns look like. And they are covered in a shiny fabric and purple sequins going around it and same on the band so yes i like those very much as well 
Now the next two pairs of ears that I'm going to show you that I have are from A Nightmare Before Christmas. The first one is Sally inspired. So I like Sally a lot. These were purchased for me as a present from Walt Disney World a few years back. So that's what they look like on. And the fabric of these is like a satin fabric. And the bow, which is very cute, has got very subtle sequins all over it. And the Sally stitching, which I really like. I love these ears and I've worn these ones quite a few times. I also have a Sally dress to Disney Bound of Sally, which I wear with that. So I love those. Then the next pair of ears, I, I kind of like Jack Skeleton, which you'll be aware of if you see some of my other videos, which I haven't made yet. So the next pair I got are Jack Skeleton inspired. So they have a cute little metal Jack Skeleton in the middle and a stripy bow. And they have like, I think it's a satin fabric and it's covered with this sort of mesh fabric on top of it. And this is what they look like on. And I love these. I have worn these ones quite a few times as well. So the next ears I'm going to show you are the Sorcerer's Apprentice Mickey ears. Um, again, I've had these quite a long time. I think they were bought in Walt Disney World. Um, but they have these very cute little Sorcerer's Apprentice hat on, which is crushed velvet and very plain um, crushed velvet ears. So I think these are suitable for a boy or a girl because my son's been wearing these and I wear them as well. The next set of ears I'm going to show you are these Star Wars um, plastic ears. They are very heavy, so we haven't actually worn these. These were bought from Disneyland Paris, but they light up. I don't know if you can see that they light up on the camera. Um, but, and so you can switch them on and off in the middle. So that is off and then that's back on. Uh, these are purchased in Disneyland Paris, but I think these are available in Walt Disney World to buy as well. Or they had, I tell you what, they had very, very similar ones in Walt Disney World that light up, but they went exactly the same as these. But that's what these are like. The Death Star on them and yeah, don't get me started on the um, spaceships from Star Wars, trying to name them because I can't. I just know that that is the Death Star, I think. The next set of ears are these uh, royal blue and white with stars on them. They are sequined ears. I always cut the tags off, hence why you can see this coming away. But I think it just looks better when you cut the tags off them. But they are from the parks. So that is those ears, and this is what they look like on. Again, I like them. I don't think I've actually worn them because, I, like I said, I have my favourite pairs of ears. So I purchased these ones in the outlet store in Walt Disney World a few years ago. And this is Mardi Gras themed. So they've got like this shiny checkered fabric on both ears. And they have this very cute puffy bow with turquoise and purple and then feathers to complement it. Then on the headband, it's covered with gold sequins and this pearl effect down the side. I haven't worn these, as you can see, the tags are still on them. But if we ever go during Mardi Gras season, I will definitely be bringing those ones. Moving on to my sequined ears. Now, these are my favourite ears collection, these few. They're all from the Disney parks. This is the one that I've had for the longest time. It was the first one I actually bought from Walt Disney World. And they are this black sequined classic Mickey mini design bow with a red sequined bow. They've changed the design of this slightly now. So what they are selling now instead of the sequined bow is just a plain shiny red bow. But I absolutely love these. This was the first pair I bought and they are just classic mini ears. So thumbs up from me, I really like those a lot. Now my next pair of sequined ears, when these first came out, we were in Walt Disney World a couple of weeks after they were first released and you could not buy them anywhere. It's my classic rose gold mini ears. And we saw a few people wearing them and they did not sell them anywhere. 
So my husband actually bought these for me for Christmas as a surprise and got them shipped over from America because we weren't in America at the time he purchased them and he got those for me online as a surprise. Love them. And I wear those the most. Then my favourite colour is purple. So I have the purple potion ears. And again, these are my absolute favourite. I have t-shirts that go with this. I just bought a spirit jersey that goes with this. And again, these were purchased from Walt Disney World. Um, they were a gift. My sister got them for me when she went. So I absolutely love those. Then my next pair of sequin ears is just classic silver ones. So they're a small sequin bow and, uh, sorry, small sequin ear and then a sequin bow as well. And they just go with everything. Now the next set of ears I'm going to show you, they're all from the Disney parks, uh, which I might have bought recently or I might have bought a long time ago. So I'll just go through them one by one and explain when I got them and where I got them from. So these ones are animal print. It's like uh, covered in a velvety uh, fabric, pink leopard spots fabric. And these were bought a long time ago in Walt Disney World. So I don't think you're gonna be able to purchase these now. Like I said, I recently come back and I did not see these anywhere. But I do like those, no bow on them, just Mickey ears, which is quite unusual as well, because usually it's mini, ear, mini ears you would buy now. So the next ones I bought, just recently when we just went to Walt Disney World. So these are still available in the parks at the moment. I got it from the Animal Kingdom in a shop in the Animal Kingdom. And they're this very nice sequined fabric with leopard print. But if you look very closely, you'll see that they are little hidden Mickeys. So there's a hidden Mickey there, hidden Mickey there. So even though they're leopard print, they've got hidden Mickeys on them. And I love these and I did wear these on my holiday. So yes, like I said, the sequin ones are my go-to ones and I love them. So that's what they look like. Then the next ones are my Little Mermaid themed ones. These again were, I bought this from the Disney store actually when they were still in Britain, which they are no longer except for one in London. All the other Disney stores in the UK have now gone, unfortunately. But these are my Little Mermaid ears. And they have these very big sequins on them. Which again, I love those. So they are very, very, very pretty. And if you want to, they have a fork on the side as well. So if you want to Disney bound as Ariel, Little Mermaid, these are perfect for that. Love them. Then the next ears I've got are quite fun. They are from Disneyland Paris. They were bought a few years ago from Disneyland Paris. And they are these Mickey hands. Thumbs up. So that's what they look like on. My trouble is, is when I go on holiday, I can't decide which ears to bring, how many to bring, and don't have enough time to wear them all. But I do like those very much. Now, moving on to ears that I have made. So when I first got into designing and making ears, my son was quite young at the time and he was mad into Spider-Man and asked me to create these ears. So this is one of the very first pairs of ears that I made. And he wanted Spider-Man on one ear and Venom on the other. So that is what the ears look like. So Spider-Man and Venom. And then for the headband, we've got like this looks like cobwebs. So it's basically a black fabric with like a, a net fabric over the top. And he's worn those in Walt Disney World. And again, people asked him, where did he get them from? But this was one of the very first pairs of ears I ever made. And that's what they look like on. And we have another animal print pair of ears. And again, these are quite an early pair that I made. So this is made with, um, it's like a waterproof fabric. So it's got like this waterproof leopard print, animal print fabric on the front and a gold sequin bow and then black fabric on the back and same fabric, the wa washproof, waterproof fabric on the side. And that's what these ones look like on. 
My next pair, again, a very classic pair of Mickey mini ears, black sequin ears with this very bright multicolored bow. It's a quite hard plastic bow and the headband is the same. So usually when I make the ears, I cover the headband, but in this instance, I didn't cover the headband because it is exactly the same as the bow. So I purchased the headband separately and just created those ears from that. And I love these. The bow is the main attraction of these ears. I just love it. Next pair of ears I'd like to show you is inspired by my rose gold pair because I absolutely love my rose gold um, ears, Mickey ears. But so I've made Christmas version of them. So it's a slightly different design to my ears. So we have this rose gold sequined ear fabric and on the headband and then we have a metallic rose gold bow on one ear and then a Christmas decoration I think it's is it poinsettia is that how you pronounce it the flower and then this poseable ribbon that you can move about to suit yourself but the good thing with these ears is if you wanted these ears and you didn't want to wear them for Christmas then you can take that off and then you have just a plain bow the loop is made out of a rose gold shiny fabric, the same one as is on the ribbon. So it blends in very nicely to the bow. You can see it slightly to the ear, I mean. So you can see it slightly that there's a loop there, but it blends in quite nicely. So you don't really notice it. So that is what they look like on. That is without the Christmas decorations. You could wear them all year round like that or with the decoration. Let me just put it back on. It would look like that. So you can have it a bit more fussy for Christmas, or if you didn't want the fuss, then take the Christmas decoration off and have it as a plain pair. The next pair of ears that I would like to show you are these um, sparkly pastel coloured ears. So they go from purple down to blue, down to turquoise, down to gold, with a net bow with shimmy sequins inside the bow. Same colour as what's on the ears and same colour or the same fabric has been used on the ears but more of the pinky colour and this is what they look like on and I love these again they go with a lot of outfits and on the back so that is the shimmery effect that you get with them so these are basically navy sequined ears with uh during the time i made these was there was a big craze with jojo bows so it's got a little pink jojo bow on it with um the sequined fabric with a great big blue rose and the reason why i made these ears was because it matches one of my dresses that i have but i did not bring them <laughs> so i quite like these ears but they're not my favorite which is why i did not bring them on holiday but I made them just to try and match one of my dresses. So that is that one. And they have plain navy sequins on the back. So quite a long time I've had these and I wore them at the villain's lair. And that is these evil queen ears. Now, when people were talking to me about them, they thought they were the queen of hearts, but I don't think they look like queen of heart ears. You could tell that that's the crown for the evil queen. That's her collar. This is the color of her cape. And these are made with two-way sequins, so you can have it all black if you'd like to, or you could have it this like purpley blue colour. And I love these. They are surprisingly lightweight. They've got like a little red gem in the middle because she's got that on her necklace, I believe it is. And that's my Evil Queen ears. The next two pairs of ears I'd like to show you are, again, inspired by a Disney character. And this particular Disney character is Dumbo. So these ears I have worn in the parks. They were one of the first pairs I ever made. Um, and it's covered with this um, gray charcoal color sequin fabric. But it's like, it's not my favorite type of sequins. There is just like a very basic thin fabric, not sequin. I've got nicer fabric since I made these. So this was one of the very first pairs I made and they're very lightweight, and I did like wearing them in the parks. So because of that reason, I tried to recreate them then with different fabrics, and that is these ones. So this is like a crushed velvet fabric, 
and we have the same ruffles that he wears around his neck and then the little uh, yellow hat that he wears and the black feather sticking out of it and that's these ones here and that's what they look like on so have basically the same pair of ears just made with different fabrics the next pair of ears i'd like to show you that again are homemade are inspired by the mad hatter he's one of my favorite characters of alice in wonderland and that is these ears so they have a bit of a mishmash of fabrics going on and then on the back you have this sparkly green fabric and then on the front on this ear is black with gold spots and then a different design and a different design on that ear and then the design is followed through on his hat with a peacock feather and on the bow on the band is the same fabric that's on the hat and this is what they look like on i haven't had a chance to wear these yet because i haven't had an outfit to go with them but i do like these then the next pair i'd like to show you again is a character pair so these are inspired by steamboat willie and that's what they look like so this is steamboat willie's shorts and then his hat and so that's what they look like close up so the top of the hat i made with black sequins so it gives it a bit of sparkle and then this is a very shiny metallic fabric there and of course his iconic buttons and the back of them is just plain so steamboat willie is one of my favorite characters and that is why i made those ears is these gold sequined ears which are have a spooky theme so we have a black rose in the middle with a netted bow and black feather and then on this ear we have a spider's web and a spider so that's what it looks like from the sides the spider is 3d and the bow is 3d and then they are finished off with a black trim so i like these ears they're not my favourite, but I do like them. So the next pair of ears is made with um, two-way sequins. So it's multicoloured on one side and silver on the other with a black um, crushed velvet bow. And that is what they look like on. And then you have the same two-way sequins down the side of the headband. So that's those ears. Then the next ones are inspired by Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, and that's these poisoned apple ears. So they have been made with red sequins, and I've pinched the top bit in just to make it look a bit more like an apple shape. And then on the front of them is a 3D printed poisoned apple, and that actually glows in the dark. Um, and then the green bow because a lot of apples are green so that is why there's a green bow with it and down the side of the ears is red sequins and this is what it looks like on and then you have a very different effect at night time i think these actually glow like a bluish um, glow in the dark color so that's those ones then my next pair of ears are a bit fun but again i did not bring these because they're not really my scene, <laughs> is the green alien. <laughs> so I think they're a bit too in your face for me, so I did not wear these ones. Then the next pair of ears, um, I made at the same time that there was a big craze with the Jojo bow out, and that is these two-way sequins with multicoloured sequins. So silver on one side, multicoloured on the other, and then a pretty blue Jojo bow on it. And then on the back is just plain silver. So if you wanted to, if you took the time to do it properly, all silver. So that was the ear I'd just been messing with. And you can get it completely silver if you just wanted silver and blue to go with your outfit. So yes, I, I do quite like those, but I haven't worn these ones because I got others that I was wearing more. Uh, then my next character ears are Cruella de Vil. So we have, again, a crushed velvet fabric. So we have white on one ear, black on the other, and then a Dalmatian crushed velvet bow 
with red sequin in the middle and red sequined headband for her iconic red lipstick. And that is what they look like on. So the trim is like um, a feather boa. So we've got a black feather boa going around the black ear, white feather boa going around the white ear to make it look like her hair, the two different shades of her hair. Then my next pair of ears was inspired by Elsa and her ice palace. So I've used this very shiny silver fabric and the color of her dress. So I've made a net bow with some sequins inside it and finished off with this like, uh, I don't know what you would call that. It's just a very sparkly trim that I thought represented her ice palace quite well. So, and I've also got that as detail on the middle of her bow then. And this is what they look like on. So there's a bit of trim going there. And then there's a bit of trim going there and on the actual headband. So those are my Elsa ears. And then classic mini ears are these ones. So just like a black velvet ear and a red velvet bow, red and white spotty velvet bow, which is quite poofy. And these are very lightweight. I think they would be very comfortable to wear in the park all day. They don't pinch at the bottom of your ears like some of them do. I love these. Then my next pair of ears that I'd like to show you are inspired by Gaston of Beauty and the Beast. So this is Gaston's chest with his yellow collar and his belt with his buckle on. And then we have a black net bow with his jar of beer. Is that what we call it? A jar, a pint of beer, whatever. Um, and we have the red sequins on the ears and the bow and finished off with black beads. So that's what the back looks like. And that's what the front looks like. And I will put these on and show you. I haven't actually worn these ones, but I think I should because they're quite unusual. My next character ears that I would like to show you are these Little Mermaid ears. So on the front is this shiny scale fabric and on the back is like a purpley, almost looks like water waves. Um, so that I used that fabric because I thought it looked Little Mermaid-ish. And we have the same fabric on the headband and then we have a two-way sequin bow, which has got purple and the same turquoise that's on the ears. So I like these ears a lot. Again, I have not worn these because I have those other little mermaid ears, which I showed you previously, but I do like these. And all my ears are quite poofy. Now the next two pairs of ears I'd like to show you are probably two of my most popular ears. I've made quite a few pairs of these already and they are based on uh, Disney attractions. So the first one is the Haunted Mansion. So that is, I've used the wallpaper fabric um, and they have a black trim going around the ears. Then the bow is like a black sequin bow with some, I wanna say that looks like doilies almost, is, is supposed to represent the, the costumes that they wear on the Haunted Mansion ride. So it's like the frilly underwear underneath their dress or something like that. And then on this is the plaque that says, welcome foolish mortals. So that was actually 3D printed on our 3D printer. And we have the same fabric down the side of the ears. And this is what they look like on. I haven't had chance to wear these yet because I want to wear them go in like Halloween time. And we didn't go Halloween time this time, so I didn't bring these ones. But they are one of my favourite pairs. Then, following along the same theme, I also have done Tower of Terror ears. So these are my Hotel Tower of Terror. So that, the HTH is the symbol in the Hotel Tower Hotel. No, Hollywood Tower Hotel. That's what the HTH stands for. So that's the plaque that you see around the hotel. Then this is the hat that you would see them wear on the rides, the um, cast members, their costume. And again, this is supposed to represent part of their costume. So the buttons and then the, the same stripe that you've got on the hat. 
and they're covered off with this gold trim as well. So for these ears, it's like a burgundy fabric and burgundy fabric on the headband. And these are very comfortable. I do like these a lot. But same, I haven't had a chance to wear them because of the time of year we went. We went like summertime and I want to wear them in the fall when in the autumn time. So I have not worn these ears yet, but I will. The next pair of ears I'd like to show you are again character ears. And that's these Eeyore ears. So they are covered with a grey crushed velvet and we have two different colours of grey crushed velvet there and then the ears have been added on and a little tuft of hair for Eeyore's hair. The tail does not come off but maybe that is a feature I could do if I make another pair of these and a little pink poofy bow and then the back just looks like that. And again, lots of people commented on them and asked me where I got them from, said they were very cute. And that's what they look like on. So it could straighten up the bow. And that's what they look like on. These Ratatouille ears. So based off the ride Ratatouille or the film Ratatouille, whichever you want to say. So this is Ratatouille's nose and his teeth and his hat. And there's a bow here, but the bow actually looks like he's got big puffy cheeks and then his whiskers and 3D-ish ears. And then the back of them is just plain. So you can see the back of the bow there and that's what makes his big puffy cheeks. And this is what they look like on. So those are my Ratatouille ears. My next pair of character ears are Chip and Dale. I did not wear these ones to Walt Disney World because I took too many. I think I took about 20 pairs and I hardly got a chance to wear half of them really. So we have Dale with the red nose and Chip with the chocolate chip nose. That's how we remember the difference between Chip and Dale. And then we have this white crushed velvet bow with an acorn in the middle. And then on the back is what they look like from behind. So this is their tail and they are striped down their back. So that is my Chip and Dale ears. And this is a rose gold sequin, and then that's like a chocolate brown sequin. And this is what they look like on. I should have bought these, I think. More character ears. I actually wore these on Walt Disney World trip that I went on and I had loads of comments asking me where I got them from. Did I have a Etsy shop, blah, 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 blah. So. That's these ears, they are Boo ears off Monsters Inc. And they have googly eyes, which you can like put wherever you want to. So you could have her going cross-eyed or just have the ears straight up. And the ears are actually covered with this, again, iridescent purple shiny fabric and covered the edges, tied it up with pearl beads. And this is just a household mop. <laughs> which you could tell really it's a house, household mob and this is what they look like on but lots of people gave me compliments on them and said ask me where I got them from then my next pair of character ears would be Mushu so Mushu was made with a gold sequin fabric and his big eyes and horns and then he's on a gold sequin headband and that is what he looks like on so that would be Mushu and you can change his moustache however you want to to have his moustache at the time so this next one is Tamatoa the crab these ears are a bit on the heavy side because of all the detail on the back so I use the sparkly gold fabric and then added things like seashells and gold trinkets because in the film Moana, he just gathers up anything shiny, a bit like me, really. So if, it's, if it sparkles, Tamatoa grabs it, same as I do. So, and we wore these at the villain's lair as well. My son wore these to the villain's lair because Tamatoa is one of the best villains off one of the best films. And that is what they look like on. So shiny the crap. So my next character pair of ears I didn't wear them on this trip. I did wear them on the last and got lots of comments on them. Ask again, asking that we me where did I get them from is Slinky Dog. So Slinky Dog is made up of the same brown sequin fabric and rose gold fabric for his nose. And they are very 3D-ish. So he's got these big bug eyes 
to me it looks like a bit like the um Ralph of the Muppets, the one that plays a piano with the same type of eyes. And then his tail is again poseable. So he's got a poseable tail and his ear flaps in the wind. So that was quite cool. And he's got a green crushed velvet collar on. So on the headband is the same brown sequins. And this is what they look like on. Now you'd think these would be really heavy, but they're not too bad actually. And the back is just plain. So that is those ears. So the last set of ears, uh, last bunch of ears that I would like to show you are all 3D printed ears. So this is sort of a bit of a, an experiment that me and my husband were doing. So you can, you've got like a, a headband. So we designed the headband and then you can mix and match the ears. So I will show you the basic design. So that is the headband and they have magnets inside and a Velcro on the middle of the headband. So I will show you how to do it. So we have snowflake ears start of, to start with, and this is obviously Frozen inspired. And then the turquoise bow for Elsa. So if I pop that on there. So that's what the headband looks like. And then I pop it on and it looks like that. So these are all 3D printed. And because of that basic design now, I can mix and match my ears. So I can mix and match. I have Anna and Elsa. So I've used the same bow, same headband, and I've just changed the ears around. So I also have um, the Evil Queen. No, who is that? Queen of Hearts. <laughs> so I'm getting them muddled up now. So Queen of Hearts of Alice in Wonderland. So we have a 3D printed heart and then the bow with cards and her red rose that she paints all the roses red. So again, that comes off. Um, what other ones have we got here? So we have Steamboat Willie inspired. So again, all these are magnetic. So you can mix and match your ears. So this one is Steamboat Willie with a sequined silver bow. And I have, let me just see, mix these up a little bit. So we've got, so you don't have to have, you can mix and match as much as you want to. So that one is Snow White and Dopey and the um, Hitchhiking Ghosts of the Haunted Mansion. So same headband, same bow, and I just changed the ears around. Um, what else have we got here? Also got Ursula. And King Triton. So I've completely changed it around now. So we've got Ursula and King Triton with a silver bow. Um, and I think I've got, yeah, let me just show you that. So there's that design. And then if I wanted to change the bow up, but keep the ears, then I have this bow. So that's more of like Little Mermaid or Ursula colours. <clears throat> And then if I wanted to mix it up again, so we could have the hitchhiking ghosts again and a haunted castle with the orange bow to make them more Halloween-y. Um, I have also got tangled inspired ones. So we have a pink bow with Rapunzel and Rapunzel's tower. I don't have a bow made specially for those ears, but you could, you get the gist. So you could mix and match any bow with any of the pair of ears. So more of the 3D printed ears. This is the uh, Beauty and the Beast inspired ears. So we have Luminaire and Cogsworth in those ears with the rose gold bow and rose gold headband. And then 
so this is what they look like on. And I did bring these to Walt Disney World, but I didn't get a chance to wear them, unfortunately, because I ran out of days before I could wear all my ears. But what I love about these ones is I've got a few different designs to go with this. So that is Beauty and the Beast. And then we have... Guardians of the Galaxy, because of the Guardians of the Galaxy ride has just opened. So those are my Guardians of the Galaxy. And I love this um, Groot because he is 3D-ish. Even though they're 3D printed, a lot of them are just 2D designs, just a 2D flat surface. But this one is actually 3D. I shall show you if I take him off. So I actually hand painted that one because otherwise it would have just been copper same as that but that's 3d printed and 3d and hand painted as well so that is that one and then the last combination to go with it just take it off and show you and again the castle is also a 3d castle but to celebrate the 50th um anniversary of Walt Disney World we have the 3D printed 50 with a Mickey in it and Cinderella's castle. And you can mix and match these as much as you want to. So if I didn't want the castle, if I wanted the 50 with Cogsworth, then I would just do it like that. And if I didn't want the gold, the rose gold band, I could trade it in for a gold band because they all have the same mechanism <laughs> so yes that is our 3d printed ears but I'm not sure how much more we're going to delve into doing these so give me some comments if you think that we should make more 3d printed ears or if i should just stick with the fabric ones because i'm really not sure which ones are better so that's it so thank you for watching it and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up thank you very much Bye bye